at referee Corbin May leading the officiating crew here as we are ready for kickoff. There it is, Summer Cup underway here in Kansas City. The Houston Dash and Kansas City Current ready to square off on an absolutely gorgeous night in Missouri. Kansas City getting things started. This current group, surely hungry, coming off of, as I mentioned in the open, their first loss of the regular season, a two to one decision against the Orlando Pride. And that matchup certainly lived up to the billing, Jeff. My goodness, so much fun to watch. But when you got a little bit of a break after a loss, you got some time to stew and certainly have plenty of motivation heading into a Summer Cup game like this. As Shuinga serves in a dangerous cross and it's touch home. Cooper puts Kansas City on the board just seconds into. They build a little bit. They turn the ball over, and it's that quick attack. They find Schwinga out wide now, outside, puts a beautiful ball into Michelle Cooper, who has the open space on that far post. She's able to find herself behind that back line, and the service is absolutely on a platter. They, she makes no mistake about the finish in the back of the net. But for me, what, what really leads to this goal is their ability to turn Houston over lineup yet this season, and they're still able to produce goals at this type of rate. I, I expect to only keep growing as a team starts to come together more with, this, with some health. Di Bernardo plays a short corner. Here's the service, a dangerous ball, just high. Back line out, and it's able to make that run in behind, finding those gaps right in between the center backs. If you're the Houston Dash team, you have to be stronger in the box. You cannot lose track of your runners like this. That's a perfect response, and especially when you're talking about a team like Kansas City, we talk about how competitive they are and wanting to just get after it all the time. Cooper back up and moving, so good news. Feist fires a shot. McKinney catches it. Coach Clark about is how do you get it all to come together? It's maybe the million-dollar question. Well, I think even with those statistics, you can play as well as you want to, but the old saying is goals change games. It changes the complexity of a game. It changes the way that the other team has to react. It changes the way that you have to react. And all the stats are great. You're building, you're building. But unless you're putting the ball into the back of the net, you're really not putting the team under the other team under a substantial amount of pressure. And that's what we need to see from this Houston team. Nagasato chips one towards goal, and it goes in. Oh, my goodness. The Houston Dash have equalized on a brilliant strike from Yuki Nagasato. And it comes off of that organized press that we talked about. Nagasato picks the ball up in the midfield. Stagletter doesn't step, gives her the space, and that ball is moving all over the place. You cannot hit a ball better than this. Look at the movement on this ball. Look how it knuckles to the goal, to that post. Corner kick coming here from DiBernardo. Service into the area, middle of the six. Ends up going deep, ball bounces off the post. Second ball just cleared in time. In the way that they wanted to, but this is a fresh start and new opportunity. And then you talk about all the different players missing, the different injuries, the different illnesses, and all that, they have to feel like they have nothing to lose, and you've seen that so far in the first half. Rodriguez service, spills out, second ball just touched high. Just incredible family lineage there. Shot from distance, rolls to French. I know the first goal came from distance as well for Houston, but that was a little bit far out. I don't mind being ambitious. You want to put the ball on target. You want to get shots on frame, but maybe put your foot on the ball. Maybe you can restart a little bit more possession so you don't have to defend that much. But again, back to the Chewinga family. I think the entire world of soccer is happy that she snuck out and started playing <laughs> so that we yeah. all get to watch. Dabinia. Cooper. Shoots. Hi. open I do think she's done a good job checking back and receiving it again kind of starting that press at the right time for this Houston defense deflection falls through to Shawinga saved by McKinney Earned 17 shutouts and 41 matches played across her career now building the confidence in the NWSL here comes Houston Olivieri lays it off shot pings off the crossbar and now she drives forward. Shawinga. Finds Cooper. Cooper into the box. Cooper shoots off the crossbar. Second ball blocked. Houston still trying to clear. Feist. Cooper cuts middle. Couple defenders on. 
Nagasato sends it towards the touchline, and there's the whistle indicating the first half is in the books. And when we talk about Houston, I want to see them continue the fight. Keep bringing the fight to this Kansas City team. They've been up to the task ever since that goal in the first minute that Kansas City had. And having this sustained possession in Kansas City defensive half. Schmidt, hard service, hard shot, goes over. I mean, I've been very impressed tonight with Chapman and her return to the field. Chapman on the ball again. Serves it in. Ordonez rises up off the post. Bouncing goes out of play. This friend is again it's Chapman. She's doing the work offensively, getting up and around the getting up and around the Kansas City box. Finds Ordonez, who's able to elevate over the two Kansas City defenders. Well, just being patient. I think that that's the name of the game. Anytime you're trying to break down a block like that, draw them out just like this. Shawinga. Di Bernardo shoots, saved. McKinney dives on it. Couple changes here for Kansas City. Shawinga comes off and you know, it's going to create a little bit of a different look here for this Kansas City team who uses her so much in the offensive attack. So Kristen Hamilton checks into the game. Dabinia's service, curling. Labonta shoots and it just rolls past the goal line. Should be a goal and that is the indication. Frustration for Aaron McKinney in net and jubilation for the Kansas City Current as they take a 2-1 lead. The ball gets whipped into the box and it's on that clearance. All the Houston defenders are drawn towards the ball instead of staying with their runners. McKinney does all she can to get a hand on it. Thought she kept it out, but unfortunately the, the spill off of her hand Nice little give and go. Spanstra. Dabinia into the box, slots it across. McKinney smothers it. But you better do that in the game tomorrow, and you better do that against opponents. Otherwise, we're going to have a problem. But that's the kind of culture that this Kansas City group has bred. As they get out on the counter here, it's Hamilton with space. Hamilton fires just wide. Chase. But again, back to your point of Hutton. You know, that's, oh. Bad giveaway here. Hamilton punishes, makes it a 3-1 lead for Kansas City. A bad mistake by the Houston Dash defense and Kristen Hamilton cashes in. As we look at this build up in possession, it's just that little back pass here. Wasn't aware, wasn't aware of Hamilton making that run towards the goalkeeper. But you have to give Hamilton a ton of, ton of credit for staying with the press, reading the pass, and making the most of it with McKinney charging at her, trying to do her best to scramble back to that ball. Spanstra on Eisen. Great move, Spanstra. Dabinia shoots just wide. Dabinia gets out on the counter, crowd cheering. There's the final whistle. This matchup in the books, and it's the Kansas City Current who come out on top. Three to one, the final score. They take down the Houston Dash.